What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here. And well, we actually got some news that I wanted to talk a bit about. There's no secret that Compile Hard has been working on a lot of upcoming titles. Specifically with one of their franchises, uh, Death and Request. Death and Request, they're gonna be doing two titles with that franchise. One is gonna be a mainline game, which is still a long way. The other one is a spin-off which that's the one that is going to be coming out this summer. And well, we actually have a bit more information and also uh, we are expecting to see more about the game, maybe a trailer or a little bit more today or April 24th at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time and 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. So originally everything started with Compile Hard having a website as a countdown teaser and it was titled Z. Uh, there is like a brief teaser that shows like the artwork of a girl and then she's splattered in blood followed by uh, a text that just says become as strong as the number of times you die. Other than that, nothing else. When this was first shown, which was like two days ago, people started speculating that this is related most likely to end death and request code Zion, code Zion, I don't know how they want to call it because that's one of the projects that is supposed to be the spin-off for Death and Request that is supposed to come out this summer. And also uh, because of the Z that was in the website. Pretty much that's what we had. However, uh, we actually just got this morning new information about the game and what we can expect it to be. I was a bit, I wouldn't say I was a bit surprised, but what made me question for me, was become as strong as the number of times you die. And the first thing that just came to mind was, is this going to be like a roguelike or, you know, something that involves you replaying something. And well, turns out that is kind of what the game is going to be. So Death and Request Code Z. So that's what's going to be called now. It's no longer going to be called Code Zeon. Um, it will be launching on the PS5, PS4 and Switch on September 19th in Japan for 8,580 yen. This is all according to the latest issue of Weekly Famitsu. There are going to be limited editions and all that kind of stuff. Now, the game is being described as a roguelike RPG with the Shi Shiren the Wanderer-like 3D dungeons. It features a brand new story in which all the all-stars from the series appear and over a hundred death ends. There's also going to be a new character called Sayaka Hiwatari, and that's going to be voiced by Yoshino Aoyama. The game will have a 0-Z rated game and has a significantly higher level of brutality. There's going to be scenes like bone breaking, flesh tearing, neck twisting. They're vividly depicted with realistic sounds. So that's the information that they're telling us. I think this is a bit interesting. Um, I mean, they did say that with the spin-off, they wanted to play and do something different. Uh, if you guys don't remember, a couple of months ago, Compile Hard had a like announced like seven titles back in like October of, of last year. Uh, we got like a bunch of different titles that they were revealing, and of course, as I said before, um, the Death and Request spin-off was announced there, which was code Z now. And one of the things is that they wanted to highlight that it will feature new elements um, that Compile Hard is able to challenge due to the fact that this game is a spin-off. So because of that, they're able to play around with it more, bring more stuff, get a little creative because they don't have to worry too much about the following the formula of the mainline games because this is kind of like its own thing. And as we know, they are expecting it to be uh, with the all-stars from the series to appear. So you're going to see a lot of characters coming back. There's 
a new character also. So I think this could be something interesting and fun. I am hoping it's something enjoyable. Um, I'm very curious about the... Well, it sounds a bit uh, weird, but I'm curious how they're going to be approaching with the death scenes, you know? Like, they did say they have a significant higher level of brutality. So I'm wondering how that's going to translate. Are they going to be very... It's going to be gory. Is it going to be something that you're going to go like, Ugh. This is something that sometimes you're just going to have a, a little like a giggle because it just looks so ridiculous. I'm, I'm already wondering because it, for me, uh, when it comes to higher level of brutality, we, I feel like there's a... Especially a lot of us that have been playing a lot of games. Um, just kind of like a level that we disassociate too much. That we're used to it because of video games. And a big example that is Mortal Kombat. Like for me, a lot of the gore is no longer gore. It just looks goofy. So for me, it's like I'm wondering how this is going to look. Not that I, I, don't, I don't think this could affect too much the enjoyment of the game. But I think it could potentially affect the enjoyment for people who are not too much into the gory aspect. You know, or they don't like seeing a lot of stuff so i i maybe that maybe there's an option to tone it down i don't know we will have to see later in the day as we said they're coming out with probably a trailer and more information um april 24th 7 30 p.m pacific time so yeah guys that's all that i wanted to talk about as always what are your thoughts is this something you're interested in feel free to leave your comments down below this has been oblivious gamer and i hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are